Which data set describes a situation that could be classified as quantitative? Quantitative means that it's being defined by um, the, the numbers we use. Qualitative, in comparison, looks at the quality of an item. Um, not if it's necessarily good or bad, but like maybe a flavor of an ice cream, a color of your eyes, and so forth. Um, the phone numbers in a telephone book is certainly quanti quantitative because we can look at the number of numbers. However, if we're looking at the actual numbers themselves, this is kind of interesting, right? If someone's number is, you know, whatever it is, that's not necessarily quantifying it in the sense that you're ranking it or measuring it. It's just giving it a number or assigning it a value, kind of like we assign chocolate ice cream. The word chocolate, chocolate means something and your phone number means something, but it's not really a, a ranking system. I can't say my phone number is greater than yours because the numbers are higher. I guess I would have to call this one qualitative, so we keep going. The addresses for students. So again, addresses use numbers, but you can't really say someone's address is greater than the others. It could be after someone else's or down the road further, but not really, right, not really quantitative per se. Zip codes, same thing, qualitative. The time it takes for each person to complete a test is quantitative. You know, if someone has a higher time, you could say they took longer to take the test. Um, the, so that's certainly quantitative. Um, the closest candidate for quantitative on the other three choices, I think, is the addresses, because addresses, again, if your address is higher, that means you're further down the road. It means something. Um, but not in the traditional sense that perhaps score values or time measurements really um, uh, indicate. So time is a typical quantitative measure.